Really, I would like to tell you more about a lion and a leopard. When I was still young, uh, these animals could come at night. The roar, the roar of the lion can break even the calabash. You see, we used it to use, to use calabashes uh, for fetching water, for, for carrying beer, the calabashes, for carrying beer. But when a lion could roar around, then these, these pots and the calabashes could break. But we had no opportunity, we as younger people, to look at them. These lions, sometimes these people could hunt them for med medicinal purposes. They could get their fat, and that fat could either be put on the wound and it could chew. Their hair, their, their, their wool and hair could be plucked and be burnt, then they, can, they could chew certain diseases. So most of the cases, that is how they could not kill them for food because it was not eaten, but for medicinal purposes. Their nails could do other certain work, uh, uh, cultural work. So even their skin could be used for either uh, blanket, instead of blanket, you could cover yourself with their skin. So the lion really has a lot of work, has a lot of uh, values to us as Africans. But then now, as you came in and told us about the usefulness of these animals, how we can live by them. When you come and look at them, you leave some money, and this, this money can construct roads and what have you. People have ceased to kill them. That's why sometimes when they kill our animals, we, we chase them out. We have devised the means of chasing them out by lighting fire around. See, when you light fire around, they, 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 they get threatened and go away. So we have come to live with them. So the lion is the king of the jungle. Thank you very much.